The World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a global pandemic on March 11, 2020. St. Francis Hospital is honoring its employees for their tireless efforts caring for patients during the past year. We embraced our mission to serve together in the spirit of the gospel, knowing deep within that God was watching over us and strengthening us to be compassionate healers. Music, a bell ringing, and a moment of silence for the lives lost. <phone rings> Prayer led by Bishop Juan Miguel Betancourt. We have also seen countless acts of self-giving and sacrifice by health care workers, first responders, chaplains, those who work in charitable institutions, soup kitchens, homeless shelters, mail carriers, agricultural and grocery store workers, friends, and even strangers. Nurses and doctors share their trying and later joyful memories over the past year. We were exhausted, but we didn't let it show. We all have scars from this battle, but our challenges have made us wiser and stronger. Joined by Hartford first responders from EMS partners, Hartford Police Department, and Hartford Fire Department, who stood by in observance. Showing up and providing that care day in and day out, I don't think uh, we can ever truly appreciate what it took for each of them to come in every day and show that compassion and healing presence to our patients. Tom Burke became president of the hospital in November, in the middle of the second wave. He says it was unlike something he could have ever imagined. He says nothing in his or his colleagues' career, classwork or training could have prepared him for the pandemic. This event is meaningful to him as a way to honor physicians, nurses, pharmacists, therapists, food and nutrition staff, transporters and other staff and colleagues. This courtyard here is called Remembrance Way, and event organizers feel it was the appropriate place to commemorate the one-year anniversary of the COVID-19 pandemic. Reporting in Hartford, Shara Taylor, Fox 61 News.